Let's get right to it. I didn't even know what a freelancer site was until recently. In the U.S., someone who freelances is often called a contractor. These are top-end roles, and the people in these roles are often highly technical. Companies use them because they don't have people skilled internally for these roles. I'm a contractor right now, and I have been for years. Apparently, the meaning of the term freelancer has changed. Now it means people who work on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. It's important that you know, in the U.S., we don't take anyone who's worked at these sites seriously. Nor do we count anything they've done as real-world experience. If you put one of these on your resume at any real company, it's going to be ignored by the hiring manager. Experience only counts when you're employed at real-world companies. Even if a U.S. company hired you, most U.S. companies are still going to filter out that resume. It's important to understand that before a resume gets to a hiring manager, it has tons of keyword filters applied to it. For example, a common keyword filter is a bachelor's degree. If you don't have a bachelor's degree on your resume, it's going to be filtered out in most IT roles. Another example are data roles. Almost all data-related roles have SQL as a keyword filter. If you don't have that in your resume, the resume is never going to make it to the hiring manager. If you want to work in any role or company, don't put any of these freelancer sites on your resume. Chances are they're going to be filtered out. Now, if they aren't filtered out, and it actually gets to a technical person like me, I'm going to throw that resume in the trash. Top technical people don't work on freelancer sites. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day.